to lock your problem in our nine VG that is taking place at Dynamic Flame of Fire and Miracle Ministry on Friday 12th of April 2024 and the time is 8 p.m. the dawn. With this bad luck that God revealed to me, I want to lock badness, frustration in life, poverty, hardship, every crisis in your life, sicknesses and attack, witches and wizards, bad luck, delay to your marriage. I want to lock them and for God told me. That's why if you are coming to this night with you, God reveal something that I must do for you. You will come with a scent leaf, a scent leaf with a bottle of olive oil, a bottle of water. So this powerful night with Jesus that is taking place, I am telling you, your story must change. Now, in order for you to understand what Christ has done, even though this pastor or prophet basically says he has a bedlock that can unlock madness or can lock frustration in your life, poverty, hardship, crisis in your life, sicknesses, attacks, witches, wizards, bad luck, and so on. I want you to look at this scripture with me in order for you to basically compare whether what he's saying is not in opposition to what scripture says. The book of Psalm, Psalm 68, verse 18 to 20 say, Thou hast ascended on high. It's speaking about Christ ascending on high after he has completed his mission. It says, Thou hast ascended on high. Thou hast led captivity captive. So that which was basically locking you. He has shown you that he's actually more powerful than all of that. In other words, he did not only deal with death's bandages. He also dealt with the master himself that releases these bandages, and that's Satan. It says further, Thou hast led captivity captive, thou hast received gifts from men, yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Selah, he that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belongs the issues from death. You understand, whether you were cursed with death, whether a spell was cast upon you, whether you were cursed by somebody or somebody declared words of bad luck to you, they cannot harm you at all. Whether you were bewitched, you cannot be harmed because greater is he that is within you. He that ascended above all heavens and he has basically blessed us with gifts and blessed us with authority to be able to say, I am free in Christ. And indeed, if you believe that you are free in Christ and you are declaring it with your tongue, you will be free. But if you believe the opposite, as these prophets want to make you believe, of course you're going to continue remaining in bondage. But the scripture that I read from the book of Psalms is confirmed again in the book of Ephesians. It demonstrates what Christ has done, the finished works of Christ. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 8 to 9. It says, But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he said, When he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Remember, the first one from the book of Psalm 68 was a prophecy. But the prophecy was spoken as though it already happened. Now, in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, 8 to 9, this is the fulfillment of that prophecy. Now, in conclusion, we're going to read two more scriptures. And one of them is the book of Isaiah 53 verse 5 that says, He was wounded for our transgressions. So he was wounded because we transgressed. He was wounded because we were living in sin. And because of this, he came, he died for us on the cross in order to take away those transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. This healing here is not only the healing of the soul. This healing is not the healing of the wound, of course. This healing is spiritual. Meaning to say, if we are caught up in any bandage, this healing sets you free. This is why Christ himself invites us to say, Come to me, all ye, who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Christ gave us rest. Whether you were under a curse, whether you were having what we call today bad luck, whatever problems you were going through, Christ has taken all of that away. Christ gives you rest. If you really believe, if you have faith in Christ, that's all that is required. Not faith in yourself or your uncle, your grandma, your grandpa, or anyone else but Christ alone. If your faith be placed in Christ,
Christ will relieve you of any problem, of any bandage. And this is the reason why all of us or some of us have believed and will remain in him. Scripture is clear that if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. Our last scripture is found in the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 that says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. So because Christ already took upon himself all the cases that were upon us, nobody or you must not allow anybody to lie to you that you are still lying under a case or you are still lying under a generational case or that you are still lying under a family case or that you are still lying under a spell that was cast upon you by a witch doctor or anyone like that because we live in Christ and Christ lives in us. All the cases were placed upon Christ. We carry none of those spells cast upon us or cases at all for that matter. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that it blessed you. And I hope that it was educative enough. Be blessed.